all right what is going on welcome to the channel all right really special video for you all here today we are officially testing out FSV here in the DMV in the snow so here we go with the official snow test beginning now and um, please don't judge me if I have to do several takeovers in this video here because again safety first and we're putting it to the test here. We're actually not sure if this version is capable, but I think it is. So we're gonna test it out and see what it's actually capable of. And here we go. So nice job with this left turn. And uh, it had a split second there trying to figure out where the lane is, but it did figure it out. And uh, one thing with FSD is it does use the cameras to figure out where the lane is. Um, so in some situations it may use GPS and try to put you like in the lane whereas like the snow plow might have plowed like somewhere to the left so right now we're not having a situation like that it's actually running perfectly fine in the snow um, because we don't have um, much snow built up on the main roads over here it's more just visually and it sure does look awesome I must say so yeah um, I'm really hoping for a lot of snow. I don't think it's going to snow enough to be like canceling work and school and stuff like that. We are, uh, we're built tough out here in the DMV, but not that tough. You know, if this does stick on the road more than one or two inches, then yes, until they get it cleaned up, they will shut down school, at least two hour delay or something like that and wait for this to stop. But I actually haven't fully checked the weather, so I don't know how long it's going to snow. Sometimes I do like to keep that a mystery, just so it would be like kind of nice to experience a like a mini blizzard. Um, right now, it looks like it, it's capable of doing something like that, but I don't think it's going to stick that bad. So hang tight with me here in this snow video, and we're going to test out the capabilities of FSD. Um, if it's able to see right now, I can't even see behind me to be honest, but I know the camera can because I, I cleaned it off before I began driving and that's like the best thing you can do for FSD is clean up your cameras and make sure that they're, you know, it's like your eyes. If you can't see, then the cameras can't see. So make sure those cameras are clean before, you know, it does say full self-driving uh, may be degraded because poor weather is detected, but at the end of the day, it works but still you have to be super vigilant and ready for it to be uh, failing and take over if needed uh, because you never you just never know so um, luckily we haven't had any major buildup because you know with major buildup of course that's gonna bring traffic and uh, potential accidents and you know snow can be a mess at the same time it can be very beautiful to look at so I tried to make sure to get you all a little bit of a video here in the daytime. Um, it's still like daylight savings right now, so it gets dark at like 4.45 and uh, it's like uh, 4.19 right now. So yeah, you know, these are like uh, the days right now where we have the shortest days of the year. Uh, but tis the holiday season and it's really nice to see some snow during the holiday season. And uh, yeah, shout out to... Um, Tesla Maryland we uh, just got word that they just opened up a brand new Tesla store in DC in Georgetown right on M Street so if you're in that area make sure you stop by I'm actually very interested in checking out that store it looks gigantic and um, it's so cool I didn't even know they were planning on opening a store another one here in the DMV area but the more the merrier and uh, I'm looking forward to next weekend. I should be in the area and uh, I'm gonna be in Arlington, so I plan to stop by. And uh, yeah, who knows, maybe talk to the manager over there and see if they got some positions open. Who knows, but um, you know, I think it's worth a shot, especially with these new stores opening up. I have tried before at the Tyson's location once or twice and uh you know i just haven't really heard back and i didn't pursue it as hard as i probably should have um and i don't know if i applied for the right positions to be honest i think that i think that i could help out when it comes to sales and just answering questions and just being knowledgeable about the product since i'm an owner that uses it on a daily basis so 
besides the point that I have a full-time job, I am very interested in working for Tesla. So we'll see, you know, how things pan out. I'm just, also I've been very comfortable at my position. I've been there for like six years now. And uh, the truth is, you know, you get comfortable somewhere, the people there become like family. So you don't really just want to like up and leave. But, you know, there are certain companies that I would do it for. And I think that my job would completely understand if I did decide uh, when it comes to Tesla, because they know, they know I'm a big fan. And then they, they I have coworkers that bought a Tesla at this point and uh, people that I know. And I think just about all of my coworkers' uh, mentalities might have changed as far as what they think about the company and the car, because before meeting me, I think all of their mentalities were just, you know, a lot of the clickbait stuff that you see on the internet, which, you know, not all of it is true. and I. I'm like one of the people that try to combat that as far as like real life scenarios, you know, none of my videos are pre-planned, not really, I mean other than the fact that I'm just like, you know, in the car, but like I'm not like scripting the people in front of me or anything like that. And then at the same time I'm not like editing these videos, so it's not like, you know, it's, it's not like um, I'm just cherry picking moments where FSD is working and where it's not where a lot of people claim you know some of the big testers do that but from my experience they don't you know so there's too many too many opportunities you know that FSD does so well that we could show you that if you just like nagged about one little thing you got to realize that we're not at unsupervised yet and there's a reason because it's not fully 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 solved it's like 98.9 percent well i'm talking about v13 at least as far as what i've seen with ai driver and whole mars and chuck cook and dirty tesla these guys are on it and uh yeah shout out to all of them they're just constantly uh providing the best info and at the same time support they're they're like the main support for me as well too if it wasn't for them, I don't even think I would still be making videos. So big shout out to them. Uh, my, my channel got boring after a while because FSD got so good. So I try to steer back on making as many videos as I used to. But at the same time, I do feel like every once in a while an update is due. As well as, you know, just what's going on in my life and Tesla and whatever. So yeah, fingers crossed about the Tesla thing. Who knows? I'll keep everyone updated here but at the same time i'm not banking on it because i do like the company i work for ubia they're really good and uh shout out to them so yeah um fsd just doing a graceful phenomenal job here in the snow thank god we haven't had any like major major you know um downpour uh while i'm on the road at least but uh you know fsd could skid out it's possible but at the same time it will try to correct itself it does have that ability but at the same time you just don't want to overdo it and uh one thing i noticed about fsd is like the way it turns when it's not snowing is like you know it it almost acts like it's snowing all the time so that in case it does snow it takes the turns like super carefully so it's not like drifting and doing crazy stuff now it has its moments of course like if there's like a really weird bend and you come in there in like a weird angle fsd will take it and just try to like correct itself you know but hopefully there's not like a car on coming or something like that but there's been situations like that for sure but at the end of the day you know again it can drift so just be careful and uh shout out to the ai team at tesla just constant improvements please send out fsd 13 to hardware three models we are beyond ready we know that the software is ready so just go ahead and send it out you know that'd be great and um yeah it would be really remarkable to see once that goes out then i feel like the roadmap to robo taxi is is it's just like straight there you know right now it seems like without v13 um you know and being able to do the three-point turn and like things like that and you know it's it's got to have that capability and uh, to have it on hardware three is going to be unstoppable with the amount of teslas that are on the road these days 
Yeah, so it's it's just pretty remarkable to watch the growth, at least from my perspective, here in the DMV area. It has just been remarkable. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. More snow videos on the way. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more. Thanks again for watching. And I hope you have a great rest of your day.